located along the Black Fork of the Mohican River, is the small town of Loudonville, home to Landol's Mohican Castle. After selling their profitable printing business, owners Jim and Marta Landol built the castle on a lush 1,100-acre estate in the heart of rural Ohio. Jim and I ran a coloring book publishing business. We did sell it. I assumed we would retire, uh, but Jim had other ideas. <laughs> My dad told himself that if he ever made any kind of money someday, he would build a castle. And he made money and built a castle. Between the castle and the restaurant, the official total was in the $6 million range. In uh, 2008, our beautiful restaurant burned to the ground. My husband, he had let the insurance lapse. Unfortunately, it was only four days prior. It was a very, really bad day. We burned down in May, and Jim and I separated in June. We were divorced within the year. Jim retired and now it's all on my shoulders. Marta does everything here. She works, oh my gosh, harder than anybody I think on the property. She runs around like crazy. There's not a day that she's not working from sunup until sundown. She could be retired, she could be relaxing somewhere, enjoying her grandkids, but instead, it's almost like she's a prisoner here. So I think that we really need Jimmy to manage the property. Jimmy's the general manager in title only. He's more the cook here on the property. It says two uh, or one tablespoon of Worcestershire or whatever you call it. We don't really honestly take him seriously, but we've never had a reason to, I guess, take him seriously. Are we supposed to clean up now? Because he's the baby born with a silver spoon in his mouth, that everybody's always done everything for him. What is honey glazed carrots? I've actually never made those. Marta does baby Jimmy, and that causes Jimmy to not really have to step up and be a general manager. We keep thinking, what, what can we do? What can we do to get more, you know, more customers in the restaurant? What can we do to get more people at the hotel? It has such potential. One of my main concerns is that I do want to be able to uh, make this place successful and be able to um, retire, but it is a struggle, you know, because a lot of times I don't see a lot of light at the end of the tunnel. I'm here in Ohio. I'm heading to a castle. That's right, a castle but it's actually built by a local businessman. He's no longer involved, and he's left the property to his ex-wife and his son to run. Here we are, castle up ahead. Look at that. Wow, the grounds are stunning. O-M-G. Look at this place. What an amazing setting. Really beautiful. Hello. Hello. My goodness me. <laughs> Gordon, yeah. nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Um, this place is incredible. Uh, when was it built? They started construction in 1996. We opened in 2002. Wow, how long have you been here? I've been here for 10 years. And all this sort of junk, what happens to that stuff? This is our little gift shop. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so this is a gift shop. Bits of sort of knickknacks There's and little, just... yeah, odd. <laughs> no? But they seem odd. What about these? <laughs> I haven't sold any of the reading sunglasses. And what's that? That is the CD we have in our rooms. The CD, well, yes. Celtic yep. Mystique. Mm -hmm. We have music playing in our suites when you arrive. Wow. Um, I didn't know people buy CDs anymore. <laughs> wow. 16, is it good? I've listened to it for 10 years. I don't hear it anymore most of the time. What a strange little knickknack shop. And what's over here? Um, all the beer and wine that we sell. Wow, well, you can see the dust on top of there. Everything's so dusty. Who's in charge of cleaning? I'm slacking on my job. I appreciate the odd uh, speckle of dust on the wine, the wine cellar, but not, not like this. Wow, and look at that. When is that from? 1980 <laughs> what? You laugh, but it is a little out of date, right? Oh, yeah, definitely out of date <sighs> and dusty. Dusty? The actual TV was on. You couldn't see it because of the dust. Um, so it looks like it was high-end to build, really expensive. But yes. It doesn't look like we've had enough money going back into it to keep it sort of... Where, how it, where yeah, it needs to be. Where it needs yeah, to how be. it should be. Right. And what's over here? 
Um, oh, one of the wedding. weddings we had on the property. This place must be packed. They do 30 to 50 a year. Who runs those? Melody is our events coordinator. And she's a specialist in events and... Um, she was never, like, trained or anything, but How she does... How can you run events if you're not been trained? Common sense sometimes prevails. Mm. Now, what's that there? Landville's Mohican Castle, win a night stay. Mm -hmm. Stop. You know how many people want a free night? Seriously? Seriously? Yeah. We try to do it once a month. Shall I do one? Yes, please. <laughs> Love this. Love it. <laughs> Ready? So... All right. That's fantastic. <laughs> now, is there a cell number on there? Um, thank you. Answer machine. Chuck. Congratulations. You have won yourself a free night stay at Landol's Mohican Castle, courtesy of me, Gordon Ramsay. Free dinner? Dinner's not included, no. Oh, Chuck, I'm so sorry. I don't want to piss on your bonfire, but there's no dinner involved. But I'll pay for dinner, Chuck. Best wishes. He's going to be so happy when he hears that fucking he is. message. <laughs> yes, there we he go. Is. He's going to be floored. Excellent. Uh, amazing, man. It's cluttered and it's dusty. Damn. So you've been here 10 years. What are the problems? Just little things here and there that need to be updated. Most of it's still from when we opened originally, so okay. 13 years old. Now, the owner is no longer involved in the business. He's left it to his ex-wife. Marta, Marta, Jim's ex-wife. Mm -hmm. Right. She runs it now with her son, who's the general manager. Correct. Right. And what's his strengths? Um, I can't tell you business-wise, management-wise, if Jimmy really, in my opinion, has any strengths right. at this point. He has the title of general manager, but I don't think he really fully right. has that role of general manager yet. And he went off to train at hotel school. Where did he come from? No. Jimmy has no training outside of high school. Marta? Does she...? No. She has no training, he has no training. Who's more hands-on? Marta is hands-on. Marta is here, there, and everywhere, and she... Wow. She's, like, the busy bee that never stops. Is she around? Um, I'm sure she's on the property. Let me. Thank you. Um, I'm, uh, I'm going to just check around outside, and I look forward sure. to uh, seeing Marta. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, is Marta down there? Wow, this place costs a fortune. What is up here? OK, can you send her up? Gordon would like to meet her. Look at that. Wow. What in the fuck is that over there? Is that a T-Rex? What is that thing? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Bloody hell. Look at that. So you relax and take your cigarette breaks. Oh, Jesus Christ. And all these flies. That is disgusting. This is a place where people come to relax. What? Man, that's gross. Seriously. Ugh. Oh, horrible. Wow. Hello. Hello. You must be Marta. I'm Marta. You must be Gordon. That's right. <laughs> nice to see you. You good? You do. Uh, what an incredible place. Oh, thank you. It's different. It looks like somebody spent a lot of money. Yeah, we did. And how much did you spend building this place? I think it's around six billion. Wow. And what's it worth now? Oh, probably two. Two million. Um, we need help, Gordon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I, I'm here to help. I mean, driveway, yeah. woodland, stunning. I mean, yeah. absolutely stunning. Thank you. you. Walk in there, inside it's, it's caked in dust in there. <laughs> it's not dust supposed to be. Oh, it, 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 is, it is, trust me. OK. And well. then the Hamas of horror for me was going up there. Have you been up there recently? Uh, probably about a month ago. Disgusting. <laughs> OK, Flies sorry. everywhere. Not a dozen, a couple of hundred. OK. Thousands. And let me give it to you straight. It looks like staff are taking the piss, going upstairs for a break, putting their cigarettes. In a, a bottle. On the, the back of one really bad fire, the last thing you want to get is a no, second one. That's true. So you're the general manager. I am running it, and I'm trying... But Jimmy started a little over a year ago. Right. But he's so tied with the restaurant. So Jimmy runs the kitchen, and you do everything else. So that's a lot on your plate. Oh, well, I right? help that's... in the kitchen, too. <laughs> I do Seriously? the ordering. I do the ordering. <laughs> How come he doesn't do his own ordering? Oh, he would if I told him to. Right. right. Yeah. But everything on your shoulders, running this place... Yeah, I guess I'm used to it. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, um, I've never done anything like this before, so it's unfound territory for me. OK. In order for me to see where the cracks are, what this place is made of, how good we are, mm -hmm. I've found an amazing couple that have recently just got engaged, uh, and due to the circumstances with the groom, he's having to go off and do military 
duty in two weeks' time. Oh, OK. So they are coming here, and we are going to host their wedding. OK, when are we doing it? In a couple of days. Okay. And it's a very how many important people? 100 guests. 100 guests, okay. 100 guests. So okay. I need to see how this place functions and what you've got, what the standards are like, and okay. just the kind of offerings. Okay. Look at it. It should have way more than 30 or 40 events a year. It doesn't make sense. Knowing the castle is losing money by not hosting as many weddings as they should be, I wanted to see how I could improve their standards and increase revenue. Roxanne? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Hi, good to see you, Eric. How are you? Okay. So, I invited a bride and groom to get married at the castle. First of all, let me say congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. I know you're trying to get married quickly because you're uh, off yeah. Uh, yeah. on duty, and so we want to make this uh, somewhat special. Yeah. Because we're doing this once and there's no rehearsal, right? Right. Let's jump in, shall we? Okay, Come in, perfect. Please. It's my first time here. Ours too. There we go. Oh, dear. It looks like someone's puked on the walls uh, with a lemon meringue pie. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> Look at the ceiling. Yeah, the ceiling <laughs> what is, is that? really scary. Chairs? Oh dear. Those are really stained what is bad. That? <laughs> what is that? Spandex? Yeah. They're, they're not nice, are they? Oh dear. Oh, that's worse. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I'm Melody. Hi, Roxanne. I'm Roxanne. Roxanne? Yeah. Yes. Nice and to Eric. meet you. Hi. Eric. Welcome to the castle. Um, let's talk about the food. Um, what do you normally do? Normally, we do buffets. Buffets? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's something from the 1980s. So, what do we do with the tasting of the buffet? We don't do tastings. You don't do oh, tastings? we don't do tastings. No, why not? Because of the kitchen staff, the setup in the kitchen. Not really selling me on a good wedding, so you can <laughs> stay relaxed no, for now, but no. trust me, we're going to taste some food. <laughs> we're going to take a seat, we're going to do mm -hmm. some tastings, and yeah. I'd like to see a menu. Um, don't worry, OK? Get this sorted. Okay. You go there, my darling, okay. please. Probably Thank got you. too many set here. Take a seat, please. Before we do the tasting, is the owner's son here? Jimmy, yes. he's the mm -hmm. he's in Jimmy's charge. Here. Mm -hmm. Can we have a quick chat? Yep, yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Uh, colour's dreadful. Reception lobby, awful. And the linens don't even match. There's white and ivory. There's a lot going on at the on the bar, too. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if that's the Dover mm -hmm. from another wedding. Dreadful. Jimmy? Yeah. Uh, Chef, he'd like to meet you. Okay. Hi. You are Jimmy. I'm Jimmy. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. I spoke to Mum earlier. You yes. Let me introduce you to uh, two very special Hi. guests, Roxanne. Hi there. Nice Hi. to meet you, Roxanne. Nice to meet you. And Eric. 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 Nice to meet you as well. Um, so, do you have a chef jacket or? I do. Do you ever wear it or? Um, when, only when I deliver food. Deliver. Well, like what? bring food out to people. Oh, so you just put the jacket on to carry food? Yeah. So I look fancier. <laughs> so, you normally wear a t-shirt to cook? Yeah, and pants. And pants? Oh. Yes. That, that's very kind of you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anything you recommend? I mean, try to sell it a little bit to the bride and groom. Um, there's certain things on there I've never made before. So, uh, that probably doesn't... Stop two seconds. Yes. <laughs> you've got things on your menu that you've never made before. Well, no one's ever ordered them. But you run a restaurant here. Yes. That's not a buffet. No. You, that's I plated. Should, I should definitely know how to make them, I agree. Yeah. I've never cooked a filet mignon before. You've never cooked a filet mignon? No. Who cooks it? We've never sold one. Fucking <laughs> hell. So no one's ever had a wedding and ordered filet? N not since I've been here, not for me. You've got things on here you've never cooked before. You've yes. never cooked a filet. Correct. So just out of interest, filet mignon comes on. Are you going to go to a culinary school? What happens? Maybe Google how to do it exactly. <laughs> Google? Uh, yes. I mean, I can yeah, do no, that. No, 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 Google a filet? Yeah. Just what, to, to watch a, a video? Uh, yes. Our wedding food is really good. Well, I can't wait to taste it. Uh, let's have a look at this and okay. you know, I'll Perfect. see you uh, later. Sounds good. Wow, OK, well, sorry about that. After learning Jimmy gets his recipes from the internet, I'm starting to feel like I made a mistake inviting the bride and groom to have their wedding here. So we have a stuffed chicken. To give some options for Roxanne and Eric, I told Jimmy to prepare a selection of dishes. Up first, a chicken dish that I couldn't believe was smothered in soggy cheese. Look at that bit there. It's like my granddad's foreskin. <laughs> Not good. No wonder grandma used to get upset at night. OK, over medium heat, add olive oil, let it get hot. While Jimmy surfed the internet for how to cook a filet mignon. Let the filets... Let the filets eat a hot pan. We were served a salmon dish. I mean, I wouldn't feed that to my cat. 
it is bland. It's undercooked. Mm -hmm. it's simply it's broad a in the middle. Slimy it's, almost. Yes. And knowing Jimmy had never cooked a filet mignon, trust me, my expectations weren't high. That steak is terrible. That's overcooked. You'd cook better than that at home, wouldn't you? Yeah. Now I know why there's no tastings available. I mean, terrible. Yeah, terrible, yeah. terrible, terrible. I'm embarrassed and I just want to apologise. I was expecting it way better than this. Yeah. I mean, us too, I think. Yeah. Be patient. Let me get to the bottom of this, OK? OK. <laughs> It's clear the castle standards are low. Okay. And with only two days to put together a wedding, I'm feeling a lot of pressure and I don't want to disappoint Roxanne and Eric. Hi, Hello. Eric, how are you? Are you well? Good. How are you guys feeling? Discouraged. I mean, you know, it's an important day for us and the food's really important. And it's like, I think about this and I want it to be the best day of my life. And then it's disappointing something you want people to remember for a good reason, not a bad. No, of yeah, course. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, I see lots of young couples and we host lots of weddings, but that's new territory for me. I've never seen a space member of staff so disconnected to the real deal. I don't think we thought it was going to be like this. There's only two days till Roxanne and Eric's wedding. And having witnessed the lack of attention to the event space and menu, tonight, I need to see how Martha and Jimmy run their restaurant on a regular night. Hey, how are you? TJ. TJ, good to see you, man. And this is? I'm Shayla. Shayla, nice to see you. I'm Jimmy's wife. Oh, Jimmy's wife. Yes. Okay, chef's wife. Cook's wife, general manager's wife. Yes. Right. What is he, a GM or a cook? A little bit of both. A little bit of both? Yes. Excellent. Good answer. OK. Good. What do you do, TJ? I'm just the host tonight. Excellent. So... 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 They're all fucked up. Jimmy, the sea bass. What about it? It needs to go on. It's just I, with this disorder. Okay, I don't. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Hey, Gordon. Howdy. She has a bruschetta listed here, too. Six months on that. We haven't met yet, have we? No. No, Grant. Grant, good to see you. Are you the sous chef? Yes. Mm. And are you working in the kitchen tonight as well? Yeah, I sort of help them. Wow. What don't you do in this establishment? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything. Ah. Mm. Holy crap. So you cook all the fish and meat on the same thing? Uh, we do the meat on the left side and the fish on the right side. It's all on the same plan? Yes. So you're saying that everything on the left doesn't hit the right and everything on the right doesn't hit the left? I've never seen that. OK. It's weird the food sits there. Shayla. Yes, sir. Why do they put food here? Is this what they... This oh, is the warmers. Yes, this is the... Only... On the wall? Yes. <laughs> yes. This is what we have. It's crazy. Jesus. But where's... the kitchen's in there. They just stick this on the wall. So how do you know whose is whose? You just pick up. We take the wrong plates all the time. <laughs> what a fucked up scenario that is. What is this? Is this done? I think so. I don't have any idea what all this meat goes to right now. What are these two flat irons for? Does anybody know? Uh, here's a flat iron. Medium rare. There's a flat iron. But I don't know what tables they go to. Jesus. Fuck me. Um, I've never said that is a beef stroganoff. What's that? But just, just show me that one. Oh, a beef stroganoff. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bring it down, please. Yes. That's how I was taught to make it. I mean, it looks like prison food. Whose table is that stroganoff? That's mine. That's yours. And what are you waiting for now? Um, the rest. That was uh, on a single ticket, but there were six of them. Seriously? Why is it not on the same ticket? Well, because they wanted separate bills, so I just I wrote them all on separate tickets, because that's how we... But you do that at the end. The kitchen needs one ticket so they can serve all the entrees together. Go. Oh, my god. OMG. <laughs> what are you waiting for, my darling? Um, what are those off. So where are we at here? One French fry. OK, do we have anything on the six top? What's she waiting on? Stroganoffs, I guess. And this doesn't really have any sauce in it, but I can't, can't help it that it got messed up. Just take it. Uh, you just deserve better. I'm sorry. Oh, here's your stroganoff. Ten minutes later. There we go. Your plate's hot, too, so be careful. Yours looks completely different. Wow, what a mess. What a mess. Oh, jeez. 
Jimmy, that's been sat there for 15 minutes now, this one. Which has? This one here. What is it? Yeah, I mean, what are you waiting on? I've just, I've never seen this kind of dysfunctional kitchen, so one dish, three minutes later, another dish comes along, and the girls are coming up and seeing the flat iron, seeing the chicken, and just going, because there's no uniform. A table's been waiting. Where's your tickets? Right there. OK. Just take this medium rare flat iron, then, I guess. We apparently need another castle. Did we make that or not? Someone must have taken the ticket down without us knowing. This steak was supposed to be medium, and the other lady, her potatoes, garlic mash, were ice cold. Oh, gosh. They want it more well done. She right. want, they want it more well done. The same piece or another one? No, we'll have to put it back on. I don't. Okay. I've gathered that the restaurant has absolutely no organization. But what is more alarming is how dependent Jimmy is on his mother to run this business. Thank you. We did it. That was easy. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to laugh. Let's just go back to the beginning. Driving in and looking at the place, breathtaking. Walk into the reception, and it's just caked in dust. And that tower in front of the entrance is laden with 5,000 dead flies. Tonight, I just want to see how this place functioned. And hand on heart, I've never seen such a dysfunctional business in all my life. Surely you must know that this is not right. I, I think we know that, but... You this, think? I'm... I speak for myself, and I can say I know that. And yet everybody walks around as if we're doing a great job and laughing and joking, as if to say, we've got something to be proud of. I wouldn't say we're in denial. No, bullshit. I got told when I checked in, Jimmy is the general manager. Can I just tell you the feeling when you walk into this place? There's no authority, there's no responsibility, and staff are just going through the motions. And if you are even going to attempt to step up to that position, you can't go home, pat yourself on the back, saying you're doing a great job. You need to start implementing. Gordon, we would like this to be the starting point of that. You know, we want that. We just, you know, you get a little overwhelmed and you don't know, you know, how to proceed. The, the general consensus in this building is that you are generally running around seven days a week for everybody. That's true. And tonight, I witnessed it firsthand. This is no life for any lady in the 60s. No, it isn't. Banging their head against the wall. That is not right. Can I just have two minutes with your mother on my own, please? Yes. This is insane. Honestly, you look like the pot washer's assistant tonight. I know. Sometimes not I right. am the pot no, washer's just... assistant. Seriously? Yeah. I think hard. I've gotten so used to it. And so I just keep doing it. I know, but you're doing more and more every week, every month, every year, and it's not right. And that must be having a toll somewhere. You can't continue like this. I agree. Has your son taken enough responsibility? I think that it, uh, he probably feels that he has because he's never probably had the life that I've had to know what it's like to work from morning to night. He's never felt the jeopardy that you do on a daily basis. No. Nowhere near it. No one has. And it shows he knows you're going to do it, and that's the problem. And he's got so used to that mm -hmm. that he's not going to come out of his comfort zone and do any more because he doesn't need to. Yeah. I want Jimmy to wake up and take the burden off your shoulders and step up and start showing some form of responsibility. You should think about a letter about what you need from him going forward, think about something strong and speak openly. And if you can commit that to me, then I'm going to commit myself to you and get in this place okay. back on the map. OK? Yeah. Promise? I promise. Thank you. OK. Get some rest. OK. OK? It's very important for hotels that host weddings to not only focus on the event itself, but other services as well. Front desk. I'd like to order this $79 breakfast in bed package. So I ordered a room service package for Roxanne and Eric. Enjoy. You guys so enjoy. Thank we you. will see you soon. All right. Hey, 
Thought I'd check in on you. How is it? It tastes uncooked. Oh, God, it's just going from bad to worse. My apologies. After seeing their disappointment and that nothing was special about the experience, I sent someone from my team to put together a gift basket to show how much higher their standards really need to be. This is just basic stuff. You two dig in. We've got some work to do. Last night, I asked Marta to write a letter to Jimmy outlining her needs for him moving forward. I'm hoping this can show Jimmy he needs to step up. You OK? Yeah. Um, how long did it take to put this thing together? Probably uh, an hour, hour and a half to think about it. That's I went to sleep around 5 AM. What? You went to sleep at 5 AM? Why? Uh. Just thinking about everything that went on and wishing it wouldn't have been the way it was. And knowing there's a lot to fix and just being uh, completely uh, overwhelmed at all the aspects of it. So mm -hmm. I have a lot of nights like that. <laughs> that's exactly what he needs to hear. And that's what we've got left in order to get through to him. That's where he needs to feel your pain a little bit because you've been too good masking over it. Yeah. I, yeah, I do probably do that a lot. You need to stop accepting everything to make things better for yourself now. And that being so easy on your son and, and being a little bit more selfish because you're too kind, too generous. Right, I agree with that. You need a break. Yeah. Quick. Yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jimmy, two seconds, please. Take a seat. Your mother, she left last night. Yes. Upset. I want you to listen to something okay. important. Yes. I just want you to listen, OK? Um, dear Jimmy, I worked 20 years at the coloring book factory, being on call 24-7. I, of course, thought that when we sold the business, we would retire. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. I know you have always seen me work hard, but the financial part of it has been just as stressful. It is so disheartening when we could get complaints about such stupid things as dust and uncleanliness. It has to stop. There's no excuse for it. It has to change. No one has more to gain by making the castle successful than you do. Let's make this place what it should be, a great future for all of us. Love, Mom. I just want to say thank you. I know. I know. I love you so. <laughs> you know this can't continue. And where I'm coming from, it's about stepping up. That means putting mum out of the day-to-day -day running and you getting Firm, strong, and making some serious fucking decisions. I don't want you to have the impression that I'm, I'm too proud or I'm a spoiled brat. But I, how much do you want this? I, I, I don't know if there's a real wor word for it, but I want it. I want, I mean. Can I just have two minutes with him? Yes. Please. In the kitchen, get yourself a coffee and close that door. I don't fucking feel it enough. That's all. I don't get uh, excited by it. She, your mother, mm -hmm. hasn't got long left I at know. this pace. And if you've got a pair of balls, mm -hmm. you better start fucking using them. And I want you to use them quick. I don't think you fully understand just what a gift you've got. I don't think I do either. I, th I feel it, but I don't fully have a grip of it. No. And whilst I am here, I want to see you commit Okay. And show me how hungry you are. I will. Yes, sir. And when you see something wrong, say something. Fucking sort it out, like your mum's been doing. I will. Got it? Got it. It's the day before the wedding, and preparations are underway. Normally, we have a soft drink soda station on the antique hutch down there. While the staff discuss last minute details with Roxanne and Eric, 
my team and I are completely making over the event space. We're upgrading the drab interior with a modern decor to brighten up the room and create an inviting space. Are we ready? Can we run? Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. okay. Brace yourselves. <laughs> yeah. What you're about to see is mind blowing. <laughs> Jump in. Oh my goodness. Welcome. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God. Oh my goodness. Come on in. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Oh, it's oh my wow. Oh my God. Now, oh, oh, wow. Where shall we start? Oh, my. Just the lighting alone yes. feels yeah. more inviting. It's a different world. Gone is that ghastly yellow color. Oh, it's beautiful, Melody. Oh, beyond what I ever could have imagined. Oh. I can't believe it's the same place. That's awesome. Complete new paneling all the way around. <laughs> wow. Absolutely oh, it's breathtaking. Beautiful. So let's have a little focus on the tables. Brand new chairs. Oh my goodness. It's amazing. Beautiful. Take a seat. <laughs> now we have proper oh elegant goodness. chairs. Oh, look at the chargers. Aren't they beautiful? Check out the floor. Brand new floor. Oh yeah, so nice. Look at the space over there now with the bar. That's so nice. Like it's like out of a magazine. This is what it's like during the day. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like oh at night? Goodness, you're with right. the candles lit at the <laughs> table. The lit, yeah. Flickering. This is what we've needed. I mean, we oh. we need guidance and we've just been spinning our tires for so long. Great. And you happy? I'm happy. Good girl. <laughs> I'm glad happy. you're happy. I'm probably the most excited I've been, except maybe when my babies and grandbabies were born. <laughs> I'm literally that excited. It's oh beautiful. my, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Yes. Now, oh, wow. let's talk food. Yes. Ladies, come and line up here. Let's just take one of each menus. I've got a plan for the food. Let's focus first on the menu in place for the restaurant. Let's start off at the beginning. French onion soup and a bowl of chili. Oh, wow. We've got the beef stroganoff with wild mushrooms. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Next to that, you've got the chicken alfredo. I like that. Uh -huh. Let's focus on the big menu for the wedding tonight. Right. The perfect entree is the braised short ribs. Oh, beautiful. Next to that, we've got a local walleye. It's so amazing. Beautifully seared. Oh, look at that. Yes. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Yeah. Nothing complicated. Wow. Yeah. Everything looks so appetizing, too. Uh, clean. Yes. Yeah, but there is one thing missing, and that's a chef. So yeah. I've arranged for a unique person <laughs> that has been working with me in Vegas for the last five years. She is incredible, and she's going to be your consultant chef. OK. Let me introduce you to Keisha. Good morning, my darling. Can we stand here, Madame, please? Thank you. Nice Hi to see there. you guys. So, Martha, this young lady knows her stuff. Wow. She's going to help to install somebody on a full-time basis. Okay. But the handover process is going to be part of her responsibility. Are you excited, Grant? Very, very excited. Grant, Yay. work closely with her. Absolutely. Now, remember, tonight, you're going to step up and run this. The burden is now on your shoulders. I'm prepared to take it. Yeah. Morning. Hello. Hello, gorgeous. Come on. Morning, ladies. How are you? You're amazing. You're even... When I check in with Roxanne and Eric to assure them that everything is on track with their wedding. Hey, Feeney. Very good. Yeah? Yeah. I just want to give the heads up. Room's looking gorgeous. OK, now let's just set them up. I put Jimmy in charge of managing the entire event, from the ceremony to the reception. It's a cool layout. Oh, isn't it pretty here with the sun coming now? Yeah, it is pretty. While the castle has done many events in the past, I'm hoping this wedding not only raises the bar, but puts it on the map as a destinational spot. Jens, how are you? You look great, by the way. Ah, huh? so smart. All good? You look smart as well. Yeah. Where's Eric? Uh, he's already up there. Um, how are we looking? Looks great. So yeah. Everything's beautiful. Quick, here's the bride. The bride's coming, everybody. Wow. She looks gorgeous. As they sit down, let's go into the room yes. and let's just go over everything, get the Perfect. team together, yes. and we'll get our timings absolutely nailed. Welcome, everyone, to this beautiful, glorious day of the union of Roxanne and Eric. So you guys aren't used to doing no. plated service. No. It's no. been buffet after buffet. That's gone. Say goodbye to the 1970s. Welcome to the 21st century. Great. Want some finesse? It's a wedding. It's not a funeral. Yes. So Be fun. happy. We get in the weeds, we get ourselves out. It's not a race, guys. Who's the general manager? Jimmy. Jimmy. Excellent. Who's in charge of the kitchen? Grant. Grant. That's right. Talk, communicate, 
Any uh, last words of advice for the team? Um, just stay positive. You know, it's their big day. We don't want them to see our problems. Yeah, good luck, guys. Yeah, thank okay. you. Thank, thank you, Jimmy. Let's go. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, uh, I hope you enjoyed the ceremony. We're going to head over to the, uh, the event hall. Right, ladies, help sit them down. Got it. Please, quick as you can. Table five. Right here's table 11. Mm -hmm. What would you like? Can you do the short ribs, please? So here we go. Grant takes every ticket and don't okay. accept a ticket until you understand it. Absolutely. Yeah. OK, that's the only way. Of course. The fish. Can we do the walleye, please? Walleye, OK, very good. OK. So you've got to synchronize with a DJ to announce the bride and group. Perfect. Big moment, this one. Yes, OK, absolutely. so focus on the timing, yes? Yep. How are you? So when you walk back in, that's when you cue the DJ. Yes. Because the DJ is going to make the announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be upstanding for the bride and groom. Yes. This is a crucial moment now. Yes, sir. I'm going to go up there right now and talk to them and find out what exactly, when they're exactly coming down. As soon as I come back in the room, um, you'll see me walk in the door, so be kind of looking. As soon as I walk in, yeah, and but you have to get me. everyone's attention. We will. Yeah. 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 What, what's all this for? You've, oh, we're only doing the bride and groom. I just want to get their pronunciation what? for the bride and groom. It's just Roxanne and Eric. Oh, you're not you going to give their last name? No, Jimmy. How to announce the bride and groom? Please be upstanding for Mr. and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Gu uh, is it Willard or Gulardi? Is the pronunciation? Jimmy, you should have this nailed. You That's what know. I was told. Gulardi or Gulardi. Gallardi. Gallardi. I don't want to fuck up with the bride and groom, right. OK? So we have to be fucking seamless. Gallardi. Mm -hmm. I'll confirm it. So we've got just to get this You yeah. just wait outside for me, OK? okay we'll yep. That. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to let you tell the DJ how to pronounce your last name correctly. All right. You couldn't have been, like, the Smiths or something. <laughs> All right. <laughs> OK, so I'm going to go in and kind of get everyone's attention and go ahead and give me how do you want you would like to be introduced. Mr. and Mrs. Eric Waldoni. The bride and groom are two minutes away, OK? Be careful, yes? Ladies and gentlemen, if I could have your attention, please. We have a very special couple right outside that door, and we would like to give them a big welcome as they enter the room. Let's have a nice round of applause for the new Mr. and Mrs. Eric Waldoni. <laughs> At this time, they are going to be making their way to the dance floor to share their first dance together as husband and wife. We're now serving the entrees. Just make sure all the asparagus are lining the same way. This okay. is the ends are together. Like so? Yes. Five plates, please, Grant. Service, please. And that's the top table. I'm going to give it to the bride. Go. Second table, yeah. Four fish, two beef, yes. Everything looked nice. Oh my gosh, the presentation is beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome. Yes. I love it. Good to hear. I'll Wonderful. come back and check on you soon. Take any plates out of your way in here. You're good. Shayla, Shayla, why yes. are you clearing when the whole table haven't finished? Uh, Melanie. I mean, yes. oh, it's so okay. fucking wrong. So wrong. So his plate is clear right. and she's not playing with the food. Yeah. So from a she woman's point, of course she does. So you yes. know that. So this is yep. what I was saying to you. Right. I, I can't tell you the obvious because you know this shit. No, I have to okay. pay more attention. Yeah, and I want them looked after like royalty. And so do you, right? Yes. I'm going to see if they want any more champagne right now. Yeah. OK. I'm going to come back with some champagne to top everybody off, OK? Marta, the atmosphere in here is incredible. It is. <laughs> I mean, it really is. However, Jimmy needs to be on top of things. Right. Yeah? He needs to nail the small attention details. OK, yeah. But just look at the atmosphere. The difference is night and day. Yep, they're happy. Let's keep them that way. No. OK. Get the staff to do that. Put that down. OK, OK. You're the owner. I know. You are the they owner. They asking me to go get beer and go no. do this. I'm not supposed no. to. No. They're picking up after you. You're not picking up after okay. them. OK. Those days have gone. OK, thank you. How was dinner? I'm waiting for my wife to pass over her plate so I can oh. finish it off. <laughs> How's everything tasting? It's beautiful. Isn't it awesome? Aww. I love you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you good? No. Right. You two. Uh, my Thank time you. is done. Uh, what a day. Uh, yes. That's amazing. Thank Seriously. You so much. I mean, really, have you had a good day? Thank you. Today was perfect. Yeah. Absolutely uh, perfect. Everything that she could have asked for, yeah. that I could have asked for, yeah. it's been phenomenal. Thank you both for your patience because when oh, we yeah. first met at the beginning of the week, I was more nervous than you two. <laughs> <laughs>
Good luck to you both. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, son. I totally thought when we first got here, we're settling. This isn't what I want, but we need to do this quickly. And now it is the fairy tale that you think when you see a castle. It's yeah. jaw dropping the transformation <laughs> that was made. And how are you feeling first? I'm feeling great. The ceremony was amazing. It was, yeah. yeah. Who's the general manager? Jimmy is. Who's the owner? I am. <laughs> That's right. And you just oversee it. OK. I don't want you chasing trash cans anymore. I know. I, I know. don't want you sweeping up after them. Look after yourself. Okay. okay. Thank you. I need 30 seconds with your son. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, appreciate it so much. Enjoy this place. I will. Okay. <laughs> I will. You deserve it. Uh, thanks so much. Good night. Uh -huh. Good night. I do not want to see your mum sweeping up. I don't either. You need to step up. I couldn't believe you forgot the name of the bride and groom. Yes, that was yeah. bad. However, your mind's in the right place. Yeah. Do not be scared of change. Tonight was a little rough, Yeah. but think of the difference you made on that young couple. I know, they seem so appreciative of everything. And the first thing they're going to do, they're going to go and tell all their friends yes. this amazing wedding they've had. Yes. You're going to promise me you're going to stay on track. I'm going to put in the work, I promise. Good luck. Thank you. Take Again. care. Take Have care. a safe trip. Thank you. Good night. Okay. Yeah? Thanks, Gordon. Since my last visit, Landol's Mohican Castle has steadily increased their bookings. Keisha has reorganized the kitchen, and with Jimmy's help, they have found a new head chef to take the lead. And Jimmy has finally taken charge as general manager. Well, let's make a plan and figure out what we want to do timing-wise. Allowing his mother to take a step back as an owner. 